we're getting to see you in this new movie, What's My Name Again? And I think it's so interesting because it so, super reminds me of Mamma Mia, but in a wow. unique way. Um, <laughs> what was it about your character, Sandy, or maybe even the premise that made you want to be a part of this movie? Um, so I had never done a comedy before. I'm like, it's more of a dramedy, but I never got, my character is like, I got to just have fun and be silly. And usually I do thrillers where I get I get murdered or die, or I'm like screaming and crying. And like, this was so much fun just to have like a blast. Like my character's in love with uh, the main character, Bo. And so I'm like trying to make him jealous and like date his best friend. And so I just got to like have, be so silly, which was such a blast and really drew me to the project. <laughs> Yeah, I think Bo is such an interesting individual because he's got this great mom, but not a perfect mom. Right. <laughs> by we can all relate way. to that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, he's the friendships he have really are sort of a sounding board, but also just a place for him to escape everything going on uh, in his life. And I love that Sandy is sort of that as well, you know, because she tags along with his bestie. Was there anything you may have added to her that wasn't in her initial breakdown? I I felt like I added because I think like as a girl, like we can all relate, like I'm doing kind of anything to get this guy's attention, you know, and I, I like really connected to that, like my freshman year of high school, I was like really in love with this senior boy. And I was doing, uh, I ran hurdles and I'd only joined hurdles because like he did hurdles. And so I was like, okay, I like have to impress him. And I remember one day I was like running and I like tripped on the hurdle and like landed in a pile of mud. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he was just like looking at me and I remember feeling like so humiliated. And so I kind of like drew from experiences like that. Like, what am I, what am I willing to do for like, you know, my dream crush <laughs> and a lot of things, you know, hurdles, which is like, I should have had no business doing hurdles. <laughs> Not that I do hurdles in the movie, but you know, I got to draw from like going to the extreme. No, 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 to- sure. you, you harnessed uh past grace. <laughs> past in a previous grace. Life. <laughs> I was like, you know, I've definitely had my <laughs> share of embarrassing moments. So I just kind of drew from experiences like that. And, you know, how far will you go to get your crush's attention? <laughs> Well, you actually do have really good comedic timing for somebody who focuses more on on the dramatic side of uh, <laughs> filming. Was this a chance for you to stretch your comedic abilities? Was this something that you were like, all right, I think I'm going to try a comedy for the time being and see if that's a vein you might want to pursue in the future? Totally. I was honestly pretty nervous because I was like, dang, I I really have very limited experience in comedy. But I was like, you know, you never know. If- if you don't try. And when I auditioned, like I ended up booking it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to dive in and, and see. And in my normal life, like I am very, very silly. So people have always kind of thought I should do comedy. And so after this experience, I'm like, comedy is definitely something I'm very interested in pursuing. I still love like, you know, all the crying and all that drama, but comedy is just a very like light, fun day. Like you don't leave from set feeling like, oh my gosh, like I'm exhausted and like, yeah, I'd have no tears left. So yeah, it's like a, definitely a lighter, fun experience. You leave feeling really good every day. Well, there's so many wonderfully funny moments in this film that give me like giggle tears you get from laughing and crying at the same time. And there's also very poignant scenes as well. Was there a particular one that you really enjoyed shooting? Um, I don't, I don't want to give away too much. I think the the one that I enjoyed, I don't, do you remember the sunscreen thing where I just was like lathering my body in sunscreen? I don't know. I don't know if that made the final cut. I haven't actually seen the final cut of the film. So um, I just, we shot it back in like 2020. Um, but I feel like when I was, the poolside scenes were like definitely my favorite because we were there for like three days. And those were just such a blast because we kind of got to like, shoot at all in all different corners of the pool and um it was like summer so it was hot felt good yeah the the pool scenes (laughs) were you familiar with any of your co-stars before working with them on the movie no I wasn't actually I like knew nobody which is always also kind of intimidating because you're like 
oh, I have to go and be like, like super silly around all these people, like, you know, that I've never met, but everybody got along so well. Like it was such a strong cast and everybody was so friendly, like the producers, director, Spencer, like everybody was so awesome and easy to work with. So I felt like it all flowed really smoothly. Um, yeah. I was going to ask you what, what it was like working with director, writer, Spencer Zender. Did he give you much advice while you were on the film or did he really just let you express yourselves? Maybe even did he allow you to improv at all during certain moments? Definitely. Yeah, he's great. He allowed improv and he, he gave great direction, which like I can always appreciate. Like I feel like he really knew how to, like I brought my ideas and he really knew how to enhance them. Like, Hey, why don't you try this? Like, he's very like good at seeing, finding the comedy, seeing it and helping the actors deliver it. And, you know, even finding the the truth within it. And like, um, yeah, he's really talented. I'm just thinking about those scenes where these boys are stuck in these car, in the car, in the little bug. <laughs> together and um they must have had uh an exceptional time improving then yeah. <laughs> sitting in they were hilarious scenes. even on set like off camera like they are so they are such funny guys <laughs> I'm actually in San Diego right now too the film takes place in San Diego and my yes. sister just here so I'm like take I'm like doing this interview from San Diego I'm like <laughs> it's full circle <laughs> Full circle. I know my sister's a Marine, so she just got stationed down here. Here, So I was like, hey, I'll do the interview from San Diego. Mm, well, thank her so much for her service for us as well, of course. <laughs> this is such a, a funny yet touching film, as I mentioned. What do you think it is that you hope lingers or maybe lasts with people who really explore What's My Name Again? I think there's a couple of things to take away from it. I think like, you know, being young and having to make like big decisions, like, you know, like I have these three dads, like which last name am I going to take? Like, I think, you know, there's like comedy in every big decision. There's like the humor in it, but there's also like the seriousness in it. So I think people will really connect. As I think every decision feels like especially big at a young age, like 18. Like it kind of feels like, oh no, like I hope I make the right one. Like even deciding what college you want to go to, to. I remember being terrified. Like, I hope I choose the right college. And yeah, so I think, you know, young people will relate to this and even people that, like older that remember what it was like to be 18 and like have to be making decisions that feel like very impactful to your future. Right. I mean, poor Bo has one, it all in one night, just summed up for the rest of his life in this one moment. And, and that's exactly what it's like when you're accepting a college, uh, a, a college, let alone picking your dad. Uh, right, yeah, <laughs> a little bit more extreme than college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little more stakes are a little more heightened in that sense. But you know, totally. this is such a relatable film in that way, certainly. And and as I compared, it's a it's a less uh, song forward Mamma Mia. So I think that people are gonna enjoy yeah. <laughs> that okay. aspect as well. The cinematography is insane, of course, with the surfing scenes and everything as well. So that it's is beautifully the... shot. There's a combination of, of great things for this movie. What else have you been busy working on lately? Um, so I just did a rom-com actually, which was my first, uh, well, rom-com. I, this wasn't, I, this was like, what's my name again was like my first intro to comedy. And then I was just in Kentucky, uh, shooting a romantic comedy called Sparks. And uh, I played a mechanic, which was like really interesting because I know nothing about cars. So that was fun. And then, yeah, I'm working on producing a horror film. We're going to shoot in Ohio at the end of the year. Um, yeah, I, I work a lot on like Lifetime. So that I did a sorority movie in Kentucky that just came out too. Um, yeah, I do a lot of cheerleader movies as well, which <laughs> I was like, I was a cheerleader back in Texas before I moved. So <laughs> Well, you do such wonderful work on our screens. What would you like to say to people who are fans and supporters of that wonderful work that you do? Uh, I just, I would like to say thank you so much for watching every film. And, you know, there's so much that goes, so much hard, 
hard work that goes into a film on all sides through the crew, through the actors, the producers, like it's such, and since I've recently got into producing, I'm realizing like how, how much it really takes, like not even from like an outside perspective, but like having to get together, like the money, the crew, the actors, it's watching everybody's tapes, like so much goes into it. Um, and so like, thank you so much for supporting art and supporting film. And, um, I really put in, you know, everything I have into everything I do, even the small stuff, like it, it's all like means so, so much to me. And it takes so much to get it from, you know, pre-production to the screen. And so we really appreciate, you know, people supporting art and watching any film. <laughs>